Ashes of Creation is set to reveal its biggest feature yet at the end of this month in the developers update when it gives us the node showcase. For those who don't know, nodes are something in Ashes of Creation that tie into absolutely every single system in the game. Something that will show a massive step in progress for development and hopefully bring Ashes of Creation's Alpha 2 testing to us a lot sooner than later. But when Intrepid takes the time to show this off to us at the end of the month, there are a few things that I would love to see from it. The first one being nodes actually functioning within the world of Vera. Throughout these system showcases that they have given us, everything seemed a bit staged. When we saw the freehold last month, we didn't see the freehold construction process or the building placement or anything like that. We saw a pre-placed freehold in the world of Vera ready to go, and we didn't see anything surrounding how the setup process is involved in that they just talked about it a little bit. So when the node showcase starts, I hope we start out with stage zero, the wilderness stage, and see the progression between each stage with that particular type of node going up all the way to stage five node, which is city. It was said before that we won't see Metropolis at the start of Alpha 2, so I doubt we see Metropolis functioning in game unless something's changed on that. But regardless, I don't wanna see the gameplay in a pre-placed one stage node throughout this showcase. I would like to see the multiple different stages so we can see See how they change, how they differentiate from each other, what changes to the world would happen, and all of that. The second thing I'd like to see is an updated node world map. We had a node map showcasing every node location previously with the old world map that's probably a couple years old now and is very outdated since the world map has expanded in size and added a new zone and they actually reduced the number of nodes overall. So seeing an updated world map on that would be pretty cool as well. The third thing I'd like to see is different possibilities of node progression. We've heard time and time again that nodes will shape the world and nodes will be what determines each server's story and how it'll make each server truly unique within the world of Vera. So it only makes sense for Intrepid to show us a couple of different node setups within this showcase. I want to see the way these nodes can change and interact with the world, whether that be opening up one area or closing off another, or how they change the environments in between nodes, such as the roads and the travel and the points of interest and all of that that stuff that is really going to bring this world of Vera to life. There are so many possibilities and so much opportunity with this node system that I think Intrepid really needs to dive in deep and show us what it can actually do. I would also like to see a variety of layouts of the nodes. In Alpha 1, every node was kind of set up the exact same. The building types just changed if there was a more influential race changing that building, and it really depended on the type of server you're on. I personally never saw a dwarf node in Alpha 1, which was really disappointing to me as a dwarf player. We know that nodes were being worked on to add more elevation to them that I would really like to see come together in a game, but I want to see more of how these nodes are really going to stand apart. Can Dunir nodes be built into mountains? Are we going to see Elven nodes built around trees with buildings spiraling up around the trees? These nodes need to feel unique. We don't want New World Day 1 where every single city felt exactly the same. That's something that can really break the immersion of the game, and really each zone that has a potential to be developed should have its own unique unique feel to it. Which brings me to my next point of wanting to see a variety of architecture as well. Really so far we saw a Veiloon Metropolis in Alpha Zero, we've seen a lot of human architecture, we've seen some Elven and Dwarven architecture, but nothing really updated in Unreal Engine 5, and nothing really coming together in a city stage node. We've seen a lot of concept art of how it should look, but we haven't actually seen it in the game. I also want to be able to see caravans function in this showcase, even if it's just a minimal display. Caravans will have a huge impact on nodes as you set up trade caravans between nodes and I want to see how these systems work and how they intertwine and how a caravan could benefit or hurt a node if done wrong. I'm also hoping to see more on housing, especially apartment housing, which we've seen absolutely nothing on, along with how you set up a house. Again, when we've seen housing before, it's been predetermined. Everything's been placed in one spot. There's been no design process. We haven't seen how you actually put your house together or anything like that. So seeing these systems actually function will be great. I know Intrepid is still working on the UI for a lot of things and that's probably why we're not seeing some of this stuff but housing is going to be a big part of the game so being able to show how they actually work within a node will be pretty cool i'd also like to see houses through various node progressions because when you get a house you can get a house in a village stage three node that's non-instant and that house will progress with the node as it levels up so i'd like to see how these houses actually progress i'm also hoping to see some of the building types such as social organizations different crafting and shops and things like that you can put 
note out and the differences between these buildings that you can set within the node as the mayor between the node types. What's going to make military nodes stand out from divine nodes and divine nodes stand out from scientific nodes and so on. Again, it's going in depth into these systems we haven't really seen yet. We haven't seen them functioning in game. So I'm really hoping that Intrepid brings it all here with this showcase because the node showcase has potential to be the biggest thing Ashes of Creation has shown us since Alpha 1. And lastly, I say this every single month, but Intrepid, I want to see a new biome. We have seen so much of the Riverlands for the past year. We've been over a year in the Riverlands since we first saw it in the season showcase last year. And I think it's time to move into a different biome. Whether that be going back to the tropics to see the changes that have been made since Alpha 1 and the implementation of Unreal Engine 5. I feel like all the lighting systems that Unreal Engine 5 brings to the game is really gonna make the tropics stand out as one of those greater zones. But then there's also the desert that we've seen absolutely nothing on beside the trailer. I just want a glimpse that there is more than just the Riverlands out there. But if you've made it this far into this video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and click that thumbs up and comment down below what you were hoping to see out of the Node Showcase. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.